Hey everybody, Chris with Up North Air Gunner. Today I'm going to be covering a topic uh, that I've seen discussed online, uh, on social media, that I think there might be a little bit of confusion about when it comes to how to increase velocities with air guns. So Tony was following along on some of the posts I was making about the, uh, the four ways to increase velocities with air guns. And he reached out to me and he said, you know, hey Chris, you know, I just came out with a new product called the Super High Output Valve from Talentunes. I said, hey, you know what? This is one of the four ways that you can increase velocity with an air gun. With increased velocities is going to give you increased uh, corresponding foot pounds of energy. So one of the great things I think about the Air Force platform is there's so much third party development going on out there. And Tony has come out with a lot of different accessories and products. You'll see a lot of them on my guns. So yeah, a commercially available uh, custom valve for the Air Force uh, platform, I'm all for it. You know, the uh, increased valve efficiency and increased pressure that Tony has with his setup uh, when you're pairing it with his carbon fiber bottle, man, I'm really hopeful for it. We're gonna do some testing today. And so, yeah, but first let's talk about what are those four ways you can increase velocity for a PCP air gun. And so this topic isn't just for big bore air guns. This is actually a topic that would cover any uh, PCP air gun. So option number one, you've seen me do this with my uh, Talon. I actually took out the stock uh, 24 inch barrel that came with the Talon and I put on a 34 inch 257 barrel with that thing. Uh, increased velocity significantly. Uh, like I've said in the past, I'm usually getting between 10 to 15 feet per second increases for every one inch of additional barrel length. And so I've heard a lot of people say, yeah, but that's increasing uh, friction within the barrel. So there's been some arguments whether or not that it increases or it decreases velocity. Trust me, if you put a 34 inch barrel on any Air Force air gun, I don't care what caliber it is, you are going to increase velocities. Yes, at some point, you can get a crazy long barrel length that it, where the friction is going to take over and you're gonna start seeing diminishing returns on your velocity increases. But for any barrel that we would you know, wanna shoot 34 inches, I see guys out there with, I think somebody has like a 38 inch barrel on a Texan out there. It is increasing velocities. So if there is a friction coefficient that's uh, decreasing velocities with this, we don't know what that is yet because I don't think anybody's out there shooting a 60 inch barrel yet. So another way you can increase velocities with an uh, air gun is through increased pressure. And with a stock valve uh, through Air Force, you definitely really wanna make sure you're following within uh, manufacturer specs because as you're increasing bottle pressure, uh, for safety reasons, obviously there's a burst disc within the system that you want to stay within the manufacturer specs. You're also most likely voiding your warranty. So if you're increasing the pressure above the manufacturer specs of 3000 PSI max, you're also gonna need a heavier spring and a heavier hammer just to make the valve open at those high pressures in your first shot. And so really uh, increasing your pressure uh, significantly on a stock setup really isn't gonna give you any kind of um, increases just because the hammer spring and the hammer that comes stock with the Air Force uh, platform isn't gonna be strong enough to release that additional pressure. Okay, uh, technique number three, increased valve efficiency. So there are modifiers out there like Doug Noble and Tony from Talentunes and Jeremy from uh, African Air Ordnance. They're looking at different ways of modifying these valves or even coming up with their own custom valves completely that still fit into the Air Force platform that basically increase the amount of air that's being shoved through that valve every shot to increase velocity. So. That is the third way you can increase uh, velocity. And that is actually the way we're gonna be you know, highlighting here with this custom valve from Tony. And then option number four, and that is with helium. Um, <laughs> so yeah, you've seen me do this test in the past. Uh, helium is extremely expensive. Uh, I think it costs like over $100 to fill my tank. Um, I got over a thousand foot pounds of energy with my Air Force 45. So with these 450 grain slugs, let's see what it'll do. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, that's over a thousand feet per second with a 450 grain slug. 
so for me, I was doing it for uh, scientific research and development uh, testing purposes just to show how it can be done. Uh, I guess in hunting applications, at least here in North America, you don't really need a thousand foot pounds of energy to take any game animal. Um, I personally like it because it's flattening out that trajectory. So, but yeah, but that's the fourth way and it's super expensive. So yeah, let's look at the other three ways. So today, if you actually wanted to do this with your gun, you could actually go out and buy a custom valve. You could buy a, a longer barrel. Uh, you could have your valve sent off to one of these modifiers and have it modified. But yeah, you know, today, for the purpose of today's video, I really wanna focus on this super high output valve from Tony at Talon Tunes. So yeah, the numbers he was showing me uh, that he was getting uh, shooting pellets out of other Air Force platforms were pretty darn significant. So I'm really excited to see what it's gonna do with my 257 shooting 85 grain spitzers. And uh, let's see what it'll do. Here we go. So we've got the uh, Talon Tunes uh, carbon fiber bottle with the uh, super high output valve. And we've got this charged up to roughly 3,500 PSI. So we're gonna be shooting these uh, cast 85 grain uh, spitzers. These are from Arsenal Molds that I've handmade myself. And uh, yeah, let's see how these are gonna do. All right, here we go. Uh, these are the 85 grain spitzers. New Talon Tunes, super high output valve. Shot number one. Oh, nice! That's the kind of increase that I was hoping for. I will take that. Okay, so those results were awesome. They're exactly what I hoped for. We are right at a thousand feet per second. And what I'm really excited about this is with a little bit of tuning, I could probably get all five of those shots to be in that 990 range probably if I were able to maybe bring down the uh, hammer weight a little bit on that first shot. So the first shot is not the highest. Ride that uh, very sharp bell-shaped curve. So get five consistent shots. I'll be doing some tuning with this, but early testing, that's exactly what I was hoping for. So this product definitely gets a thumbs up from me. So yeah, go out to Talon Tunes, pick one of these up. Um, I'm gonna be doing some testing on it with the uh, Talon P later on, but you know, this, I wanted to start off with this. This is kind of like the extreme case. So yeah, this is the reason why I wanted to do this testing with the uh, 257 custom uh, Talon door that I have here is that, you know, it's really gonna test worst case scenario really heavy projectiles and what can it do can it get it up to almost a thousand feet per second and it did so yeah i definitely give it a thumbs up check out talentunes.com get one of these super high output valves thanks for joining me this is chris with up north air gunner